it feels like a long time since we've talked because it has been <laughs> I have not taken this long of a break off of my channel in a long time and I wanted to sit down and film today just to catch you up say hi happy 2020 welcome to the marathon <music> The last time I think I saw you was Boxing Day, and today is January 6th, and that is very unlike me. I had super high hopes, not even hopes, like I was doing it, this was the plan, that I was going to daily vlog from December 1st until January 25th through the launch of my book on January 23rd, Finding Your Cape, it'll be out then, shameless plug. And then the party is January 25th, I would love it if you bought tickets and joined me. Um, and then I got sick and I stopped filming <laughs> for a myriad of reasons but I just didn't want to complain that I was sick every day and no one needs to hear this if you are a marathoner or a longtime viewer you'll be able to tell she's still sick I got sick December 1st and um, if you followed vlogmas you know I went to the doctor got a throat swab nothing showed up then I went back on the 19th he told me to have some fisherman's friends and some water then I went back on New Year's Eve and finally was diagnosed as either having bronchitis or walking pneumonia finally got some antibiotics and a stereo stereo no I did not get a stereo <laughs> here's your present for being sick uh, I got a steroid inhaler and today I went back to the walk-in and got more antibiotics for a round two and he said the this should end it so here's hoping and honestly you've missed not a lot I'll catch you up on the exciting things you have missed but basically I've been sitting here on the couch um, there is now a TV which your back is too in my living room there's never been a TV in this room since I moved in in 2010 that's when I bought this house is that right 2010 no 2008 I bought this house in 2008 Jeremy and I bought this house so this is the first time there's ever been a TV in here we put the TV from my bedroom in the living room on Christmas Day because we thought it would be fun to have the fireplace channel as we unwrapped presents which it was and then as I was sick it just stayed <laughs> and here it stays and I am kind of loving it and by kind of I mean I'm really loving it um, that was a tangent so I haven't filmed because I don't want to just complain that I'm sick no one wants to hear me being sick and I've been trying my damnedest to rest lay on this couch and get better <clears throat> so thank you for being patient as plans changed on this channel I've been in the Facebook group on and off a little bit on my Instagram and Twitter and stuff but I've been pretty MIA just trying to rest and get better but I really miss you and I really miss filming and to be honest uh, being sick has been hard on my mental state and that has been unexpected and difficult um, I'm usually someone who gets a cold and within two to three days can like ginger shot it away or eat the garlic and the oil of oregano and like she's gone so what is this week six um, it's been difficult and I even feel kind of like gross in saying that even though we're not supposed to judge our emotions and our feelings we're supposed to you know honor them like there are people who have it so much worse, but that doesn't negate, you know, if you're sick. This has all just been in my mind for the last six weeks. Um, but I have a real empathy for people who have like chronic illness and chronic pain because I've never had it where I can't just get better. And that's been very humbling to me, like so humbling. <laughs> Um, so let me catch you up on what you have missed. Well, you saw my niece came on Christmas Eve. We surprised my mom. How I did not let that slip on Vlogmas was like a big pat on the back and a big self high five. I will say to you though, many times I had to edit things out where I talked about Elizabeth coming because I knew my mom would watch my videos. So that was the last video I posted in case you missed it. It's one of the greatest moments of 2019 for me for sure was taking my mom to the airport under the um, total and 
then a blatant lie that we were picking someone else up from the airport and we weren't we were picking up my niece elizabeth so if you missed that video it was the last one she was here for a week and it was so wonderful even though i was sick it was just so nice to see her i love having her in the house i love having her stay and she did the super honor of uh letting my mom and i go grad dress shopping with her which was really fun she tried on i think I wanna say 12 or 15 dresses and it was so special. I felt so lucky to be included and she picked a dress and it was great and I can't believe she's graduating high school this year. And um, so that was like really special to be included and to be able to do with her. We just like had a really chill time. My mom would come over almost every day. I think she saw her and Thomas had a really wonderful Christmas break. I feel like we had just some great bonding and he was super lucky because Elizabeth came to visit. Jeremy's mom came to visit for a few days and she was great. She kept like sending me upstairs to nap. So I was very appreciative of that. And what else can I tell you? We had a pretty chill New Year's. I uh, just went to a friend's house and played some dominoes, like some Mexican train, which was really fun. And that's been pretty much it. This has been pretty much the room I've been in. <laughs> um, but yeah, it. I, I am very appreciative of your patience. I am someone who always makes end of year videos. Like these were my favorites. These were the books I read. This was my beauty favorites. Like looking back at all the fun stuff we did because as marathoners we did so much fun stuff and I was really looking forward to recapping that. Like we had multiple meetups in like we had them in Calgary and we had them in Vancouver and we had one in Penticton. I announced my book like there's so many amazing things that happened in 2019 that I was really looking forward to recapping with you and then also like setting goals and being there for you to help you do that and I just couldn't and I had to let it go and it was very difficult for me but there's been a lot of letting go in my life in the last five weeks of being sick let me tell you. So one thing that was really like gratifying to me and warms my heart and gave me like a bit of whew, relief was in the Marathon or Facebook group, seeing how many of you post what your goals are for 2020, what your word is for 2020. There were some of you who said like, cause previous years I posted videos about this was my word for this year and this is what my word is for the coming year, which I'm still posting that video because I have a lot to say about 2019's word and 2020's word but it was just really great and relieving for me to see how many of you are just doing that anyways and saying you had remembered me saying that or you had done it last year so that was very gratifying I love seeing you take my words to heart and then put in the work and then tell us about it that is just so fantastic to see so thank you so much to everybody who has been posting their goals and um Honestly, I think it's just a good example of like you can set goals on January 6th or February 6th or July 29th or October 14th. Like who cares? Does that be January 1st or December 31st? And if you don't do it, then just like poof, the year is a write off. Like no, um, I haven't been able to obviously start all of my goals and that's also been new for me, but I have been able to do some and you know i'll keep you posted on those and i'm definitely i'm pretty sure my next video will be my word of 2019 which was courage and tell you how that went and then tell you what my word is for 2020 because that's really important to me i hope it shows you that you can set your goals anytime like i'm not a new year's resolutions person i just like to set goals and why not do it at the beginning of the year or halfway through January, <laughs> which is what it will be. A big one for me that I've already started is it's been very humbling to be sick for this long and realize that um, I really need to step up my health like what I put into my body. So January 1st, we cleaned out the pantry, we cleaned out the fridge and ever since, so it's been, you know, six days, uh, been totally eating clean and it's been wonderful. Uh, one thing that really helped was on the first, the first, 
was it the first? I think, yeah, we watched um, Game Changers, which is a documentary on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, lots of you recommended it to me, and I've seen lots of people saying that you are watching it or you have watched it on Netflix. It was really inspiring. Like another just like real kick to remember, oh, this is why these things are important to eat and this is why it's important to like stay away from certain things. It was awesome. And I know a few people who have like been so inspired by it and taken it to heart, myself included. It was a really good reminder for me to go from being vegan to being whole food plant-based. So that's what I've been doing in the last six days. And for the first time ever, cutting out processed garbage and junk food and baking and all of that doesn't feel like a punishment it feels like i'm doing my body a service and being sick for this long which again i know is not sick for long in the grand scheme of things for a lot of people so i hope you don't think that i'm being like flippant i am definitely not but it has been humbling and a bit of a wake-up call for me so I will keep you posted on that. It is going well so far. I've just really missed you. <laughs> and I hope you're off to a good start of 2020. And if you're not, that's okay. There's still a lot of time to go. I'm really looking forward to the book coming out on the 23rd and then the party on the 25th. I really hope to see you on the 25th. If you missed it, I got a hotel rate from the Ramada in Penticton to anyone who wants to come to the event and then stay over or like me wants to just have a staycation <laughs> and use it as an excuse to sleep in the next day. That's how I'm celebrating my book. My book comes out and then I'm gonna sleep in, <laughs> which I am totally fine with. So um, I just wanted to say hi and it's tough. It's, it's, I don't think people talk enough about how mentally difficult it is to be sick and how frustrating. Like, so I go to Pure Gym and Juicery and I got to spin once in December because the doctor at the walk-in said I could go and then I kept being sick and ended up getting walking pneumonia. Not because I went to spin, but just because I was sick. And every week, so you book your spin classes on the Mind Body app, so every week I would book my classes, hoping I was gonna feel better, and then every week I would cancel. And then I'd book, and then I'd cancel, and then I'd book, and then I'd cancel. And it's been so hard. I really understand now how much of a role exercise plays on my mental health. It's been very difficult <laughs> so i'm looking forward to working out again and i downloaded the sweat app if you watch vlogmas i did that twice haven't been able to do it since today at the walk-in he said you can't run a marathon which i thought was like so fitting because he has no idea that about the marathon i just thought that was like all right i hear you um but you can do some light exercise so i'm gonna try and maybe go for a walk tomorrow I miss it so much so I can't control that but I can control what I eat and I have been resting so 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 much another thing I wanted to say about resting and if you are a single mom or just a person who is sick um, it's been I understand that people keep telling me to rest because that's like a loving thing you're supposed to say to people who aren't feeling well but it's gotten to a point where I've just been so frustrated because I can only rest so much being the mom and a single mom of an eight-year-old who is off for two weeks and like he needs to play and eat and be taken care of and so that's been difficult like I keep just saying to people I'm just doing my best when they're like you should be resting I'm like I literally have been resting since December 1st I have gone out a few times, but like, I can't just lay on the couch all day. So I, I've started to get like, I'm just so frustrated. And so I think my reaction has started to get frustrated. And people are like, well, you should be resting. Thanks tips. Like I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. And I've realized that because of circumstances in the past, when I'm sick, I have wondered what I did wrong to get sick. Like, 
oh, I thought I was healthy and I was taking all my vitamins and like, yeah, we wake up at three because that's what Thomas does. But we're trying hard and I'm working with the new sleep team and I'll give you updates on that. It is going well. There is progress and promise, but like we're all just doing our best. <laughs> And those people who are telling me to rest, they're just doing their best too. I'm sure they just feel bad that I'm sick, but it's so hard. And then like people, when I cough and they're like, oh, that doesn't sound good. I'm like, I know, <laughs> I know it doesn't sound good. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I just wanted to say that like if you're someone who has to work or can't just rest ever, like who can just rest for six weeks? Nobody can. Um, you're not alone, I'm not alone, we're all just doing our best. What kind of merch do we want that on? We're all just doing our best. Okay, that's it, that's all for today. I just wanted to say hi and I miss you and catch you up a bit and say thank you for your patience and yes, I wish I had been vlogging every day as was expected and was the plan, but I have taken a lot of uh, lessons away from being sick probably because I've been resting so much and had so much time to overthink things, but that's where I'm at. And I'm hoping to start daily vlogging. I got another round of antibiotics today, which my mom was asking me. I haven't had antibiotics, I don't think since high school. High school, y'all. High school was a very long time ago in my world. A very long time ago. Um, so he said that this should end it. This should end the sickness. So fingers crossed. I'm not gonna start daily vlogging today, but I'm gonna hopefully post some more videos and rest because there's things to do and this little voice needs to voice an audio book and you know, do the things. Anyway, that's it. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me in this first video of the marathon in 2020. Let me know what you wanna see this year. If there's anything that involves sitting that I could probably accommodate right now. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks for watching and like sub subscribe. If this is your first time watching, thanks. <laughs> I will see you in the next one, which will be my word of 2019, how that went, because it was a doozy and a lot to tell you about, and then my word of 2020, which already is going pretty well. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.